Hi, this is question number six from the AQA Mechanics 2 January 2013 exam paper. In this question, we have a light inextensible string that has one end attached to a particle P of mass 2 kilograms. The other end of the string is attached to a fixed point A. The point A is vertically above the point B. The particle moves at a constant speed in a horizontal circle of radius 0 0.8 meters and center B. The tension in the string is 34 newtons. We're told that the string is inclined at an angle theta to the vertical as shown in this diagram here. For part A, we need to find the angle theta. Okay, so, um, so for part A, I need to work out what this angle theta is. I'm going to start off by drawing myself a force diagram. So over here, um, I will have my particle and there's going to be a weight going downwards, um, which we're going to call to because it's mass times the gravity. So that's going to be two G Newtons. And we're also going to have our um, tension in the string over here. And that's going to be 34 Newtons. So we've got two G Newtons over here and we've got 34 Newton over here. Um, I know this angle here is theta, um, which means that this angle here is also going to be theta. So I, I'm going to mark that on over here this angle here is going to be theta um, I'm also going to say because it's um, uh, moving in a horizontal circle we know that there's going to be an acceleration that's going to be going towards the center of the circle in this direction here um, so we can have this acceleration a and I'm actually going to write that as because we're talking about the speed rather than the angular speed, I'm going to call that v squared over r. Okay, so this is my um, force diagram. Um, we're going to use this to find the angle theta. So we want to find this angle here. So in order to do that, I'm going to resolve this vertically first of all. So, um, so I'm going to resolve this in this direction. Okay, so um, because there's no movement up or down um, here at all, um, vertically we're going to be in equilibrium. So that means all the forces upwards are going to be equal to all the forces downwards. So um, I've got 34 and the component of that acting vertically is going to be 34 cos theta. So I'll have 34 cos theta and, and that's going to be equal to um, the weight which is going to be um, 2g um, which is 2 times 9.8 which is 19.6 newtons okay so that tells me that cos theta is going to be equal to 19.6 over 34 um, And I can work out that theta is going to be equal to, uh, and that works out to be 54.8 degrees. Okay, um, so that's our angle theta. Now part B, uh, we're asked to find the speed of the particle. So um, in order to find this, I'm going to now resolve this. Um, horizontally. Okay, so um, resolving it horizontally, well this time we're not in equilibrium, so we're going to have our force um, is going to be equal to mass times acceleration, so our resultant force is going to be equal to mass times acceleration. Well our only horizontal force here is going to be um, 34 sine theta. 
so um, we've got 34 sine and the theta we know is 54.8 degrees so our 4.8 um, okay so that's going to be our horizontal force um, and that's going to be equal to mass which is 2 kilograms times by acceleration which is v squared over r and r is our radius which we're told is 0 0.8 okay so that's our net force um, and that's going to be equal to our mass times by our acceleration that we've got there um, so um, simplifying this uh, I can multiply both sides by 0 0.8 and divide by 2 and that tells me that v squared is equal to 11.11 um, which means v is going to be equal to 3.33 um, um, meters per second that's the two decimal places okay um, part c Okay, so sorry, for part B we've now found the speed over here. For part C we're asked to find the time taken for the particle to make one complete revolution. Now, um, because we're told that the particle moves at a constant speed, um, the speed is constant as it goes around the circle, um, so that means that I can say, well, speed is equal to distance over time, um, but we want to know time, so I can say, well, my time is going to be equal to distance over speed and um, so time is going to be equal to the distance that it travels in one complete revolution over the speed that it's traveling at. Okay so um, the distance that it travels in one complete revolution well that's going to be um, 2 pi r because that's the circumference of, of the circle it's going to be 2 times pi times by the radius um, and then we're going to divide that by um, the speed and the speed um, we've worked out as 3.33 meters per second okay and, and we know um, to, we know the radius is going to be 0 0.8 so I could, instead of saying 2 pi r I could say 2 um, pi times by 0 0.8 um, and I can put that into my calculator um, and divide it by 3.33 um, and that gives me uh, 1.51 seconds uh, to three significant figures okay and, and there you go um, thanks very much for joining me I look forward to seeing you again soon take care